The following is an exclusive presentation of the NCCU Sports Network. Go to Rachel Williams. Williams now will hold on to the left side. Jones, she'll rise and fire and drill from the left side. 45 42. There you go. There's that fighter's chance, baby. 21 points for Morgan Jones today. Jones, Jones pump fakes now, so drive. It goes outside to Rachel Williams, so pump fake. And it goes to the top of the perimeter to Nikki Works. Works drives to the lane now, outside to Jones. She'll rise. Can't get that one to fall either. Rebounded by Dishon Dixon into the lane. Catch that one. Down by one. Yes. Tisha Dixon, seven points for her, 45 to 44. Dixon, she's a player that has the pinch to come through in the clutch as we saw her against UNC Asheville pointers today. Pass goes inside to Tisha Dixon, goes outside to Morgan Jones. Left side, yes, Nikki Works. Here it Jump is. From the left. Yes, yes. Right. <laughs> Nikki Works puts North Carolina Central back in front of this contest. 46 to 45, timeout by South Carolina State. Works to inbound for the Lady Eagles. Full court press back on by North Carolina Central. Connerly uh -huh. spins away, and now she'll got to go coast to coast. Lay up, right side, yes. count it. Count it. Coach to coach with the most. Cyclone Kira Connerly showing what she has working with that spin move in the backcourt. women's basketball head coach Vanessa Taylor. Coach, could you just start off giving us a few remarks about today's game? Uh, first, an exciting win at home, playing our first uh, conference game of the new year. And so what we wanted to do was just establish protecting the nest. And that's been the challenge that has gone out to our young women. They answered that challenge today. I am so proud of them and excited about the possibilities for us. So talk about Morgan Jones' performance. She had a career high 21 points this evening. You know, when she hit the first two, I said the drought is over. You know, she is a young woman that I love coaching. She has a tremendous work ethic. Uh, she listens. She's a team player. She does the little things, pays attention to the intangibles. And so when you have those kind of student athletes that have success, certainly as a coach, you know, you relish those moments. And in the second half, we noticed a different women's basketball team. Talk about what got you guys going in the second half of play. It's the MEAC, you know. Um, when you're playing in the MEAC, you know every night is going to be a dogfight with the teams. And, and so there's pride on the line, there's tradition on the line where we're trying to establish one here. And there's opportunity. And so one of the things our young women want to do is they want to show the alumni, the school, and everybody that they appreciate this opportunity. We enjoy being in this moment. We love this game, and so we want to honor it with how we play for 40 minutes plus. You guys have had a couple of close losses recently. What's it like to kind of be on the other end of it and be able to finish a game, even if it is in overtime? You know, when you look at your preseason, our goals definitely our our goal was definitely not to come out with just two wins, but we wanted to make sure that we got better and we learned from each scenario. And at the end of the day, when we sat down as a team after Wofford, we began to talk about some of the areas and some of the things that we know that we can do a better job of, that we control. And so they've kind of committed to that. And I told them now, once we've done that, 
there is no looking back because these games get harder and harder and harder. And so we just want to, at the end of the day, feel like we're prepared, that we've left it all on the floor, that we played team ball, and it's NCCU on the front of our jersey that's proud and not the name on the back. How much does it help you guys had a pretty long losing streak and now that's over? How much does that help you going forward? It's just like a big confidence boost. You know, it's almost like uh, we went to a barista today and we got a shot of, what is that they get, espresso? <laughs> you know, that's what it does for you, really. It gives you a shot in the arm. And so once you come back to practice, now you got a little bit more bounce in your step, you know. But we only have a little while because Savannah State is on a roll. You know, they're a team, they beat a major D1 this year with beating Florida. Uh, Coach Baker's done a great job down there with that program, and so we want to protect home court. And so we defer with all of the excitement to certainly be proud of what we've accomplished, but not take our eye off of the bigger things one step at a time, one game at a time. Raquel came on pretty strong in the second half and was kind of steady throughout the whole thing. Can you kind of just talk about her performance? Well, she's, she's had the opportunity now to play in so many conference games and be big in moments. And so it was good to see her do that uh, tonight. And I, I wanted to say, too, um, Tisha Dixon, the last two games, has been really big for us on the glass. Uh, tonight she got some key rebounds, got herself to the line. She was under control. So she is definitely growing in the role that she has had to take on. And so uh, as well with our point guard spot, we're getting quality play from the three of them that are having shared minutes in Rachel Williams, uh, as well as Alexis Hines and Kristen Askew. And so, you know, it's just a team effort. I could name each person and say what they're doing. Like tonight, honestly, Every time Nikki Works was on the bench, she was louder than the fans behind us, just talking and reminding them, hey, we got to communicate. And so they really want to do well. And so it's just a start, but it's a good start. And we're going to just try to keep it rolling from there, one game at a time, one practice at a time, one play at a time, just getting better as a team. We're here with women's basketball sophomore Morgan Jones. Morgan, tell us about your performance tonight. You had a career high 21 points. Talk about just your improvements during practice. Oh, practice that were on me. It was hard and um, that's that's really what we needed. We needed a hard practice. Uh, we knew it was conference time. We had to come out strong and I was just hyped. I was hyped, honestly. That's what it was. And talk about your, your second half momentum swing, especially going into overtime. Tell us about your performance there. Well, I mean, you come out back halftime and uh, you still have to keep your eye on the prize. We were down, so I knew we had to just keep it, you know, steady and keep pushing through. And that's what we came together and did. When you hit your first three-pointer, did you kind of feel that you know that you were on then? Yeah, all it takes is one. That's my motto. All it takes is one. And um, once you get that one, it's just like you got to keep going with it. So, yeah. And for you, what was it like to kind of be on the other end of a close game and to win it in overtime? Oh, man, it was amazing. The draw has been too long, but we're ready. We're coming. So that's what we decided to do. Oh, Savannah State is an even better team, and that, that's a challenge. And I like challenges, so we're going to work even harder in practice and come back out even stronger. CBS. That stands for Car Buying Simplified. Shop CBS Mitsubishi in Durham or choose from over 500 quality used vehicles at any of our six convenient locations. Hurry to CBS Mitsubishi at CBSQualityCars.com. This has been an exclusive presentation of the NCCU Sports Network.